Hello, I'm Pratyush and today I want to talk to you about Dasra, directed and written by Shrikant Odela, starring Nani and Kirti Suresh. Blazing. So much of Dasra's ambience is suntanned and blazing. The dry inland heat, the torchlight on miners' helmets, pouring over the protagonist's grief in sharp cones of yellow light, the afternoon dust storms raised by raucous feet, dancing to rapturous music, the poster of Silk Smitha blessing the toddy shop called Silk Bar, seething in a mouth half open with a finger tucked in suggestively. This extravagant blazingness, what the film gives its world, it refuses its story. Nani propels Dasra with his coy, rambling patheticness, playing Dharani, an alcoholic who narrates the story, whose narration exits the film midway after providing the necessary context, the history of this village, Virlapalli, curled up into dense dialogues. He's in love with Venila, played by Kirti Suresh, but refuses to act on it after he realizes his best friend, his dost, Suri, is also in love with her. This is a friendship that could have bloomed and cemented only in childhood, when difference was seen with curiosity, not doubt. A more polished man, Suri has a more chiseled body and is someone who can handle his alcoholic days as well as a sobriety. He is the conventional hero. In a moment where the cinematic gears of the film shifts, when both Suri and Dharani jump political parties from backing Chinanambi, played by Shine Tom Chako, to Shivana, played by Samudrakani, it's Suri who looks ahead, confident, and Dharani who looks at his feet, worried, unsure. But Dasra, taking a page from Lokesh Kanagaraj, has no place for the conventional hero. For all its fury, Dasra is a film that isn't sure where to derive its emotional force from. There is the smaller intimate story of love and friendship. This gets torpedoed when placed against the larger story of power, caste, and politics, each trying to exert a cinematic thrust on one another bulldozing forward with a score that knows its mass moments from its quieter ones. The problem is that this larger story is too feeble. Politics and power are swapped easily, elections and electoral promises are flung into and out of the narrative as lazy asides to push the film forward. You can sense this forceful pushing. The evil of this story, pooled into Chinanambi, is unstable and shallow. Often villains are produced from a moment of humiliation. As the film sediments, it builds this humiliation slowly but not strongly. Here, Suri and Dharani are seen as the people instigating his humiliation and so his evil. Post-interval, it completely discards this, turning Chinanambi's acid into something totally different and toothless, involving woman and his unbridled lust. Women are the casualties of this story, but also the storytelling. The larger world seems oddly absent. We see a video of NTR banning alcohol, but this law too is soon overturned by the local bootleggers, and it is as though the state does not exist. We see the police, but it's merely men in uniform dutifully towing the Sarpanch's diktats. The village is a marooned island surrounded by coal mines. The mines themselves are unrelated to much of the story. Dasra begins with hazy patched scenes of Suri and Varani stealing coal. The teeth so white it shines like magnesium flames against the cold, stung skin. That the film refuses to acknowledge the charcoal powdery quality of the air as a problem that needs solving, that needs the muscle of the hero to clean, shows either how it sees the coal mine as merely an aesthetic choice, or that the villagers have given up fighting for what they think they deserve clean air. Why I'm being so generous with my interpretation of the film is because it has an odd subtle hand when talking about things like caste. It wants us to peek into the film, really pay attention to figure out who is upper caste and who is lower. Suri and Benila are from the same caste. Tarani, it is implied, is from a lower caste. The bar has a separate entrance for people like him. This is shown, not discussed, and it must be yanked out of the film. Tarani is a man whose courage, whose bravery is kindled only by alcohol. This he learned from his grandmother. When as a child he asks her why she drinks, she replies mournfully, for courage. Alcoholism, like most things in the film, is given a sudden, jerking arc. As the film steadies us into its world, the film goes so far as to call it tradition. In a charming song, after NTR bans alcohol, an elegy really, we are told about how mutton sales dropped and marriages and funerals are both without life. The film depicts alcohol as valorous. There is a creeping sense that the central tragedy that keeps the film afloat would not have happened had Dharani been drunk. Sobriety is a vice in this world. But soon, this flips in an unconvincing epilogue. As though the film was worried about its posture being one promoting alcoholism, and so it overcorrects in the only way it knows. 
throwing dialogues at a problem. These overcorrections are signs of a worried writer who isn't confident about his world, his worldview, his audience, his craft. There is a shamelessness that the film refuses to lean into. Even the way it treats Kirti Suresh's character feels apologetic, giving her a patch of dialogue to explain why the film is so cruel to her. The film unsteadily grapples with Nani's heroism. In one scene, he takes a scythe right out of the fire it's being baked in, but first wraps cloth around his hand before touching it so he doesn't get burnt. The hero, this hero, has his limits. But the climax is one of unkempt bravado, of one man pummeling a mountain of men, of him emerging from fire untouched by its flames. A character asks in Dasara, are our lives greater than myths? The film answers shiftily, both yes and no. And I wish it had made a choice, one that it stuck to, one that it could put the full force of its cinematic might behind. In the comments, tell me what you thought of Dasra, what you thought of my review. Did you agree with it, disagree with it? And if you haven't subscribed yet, you must subscribe to Reviews and More.